Hey y'all, welcome back to Off The Charts Co. with me, Shima. We are gonna hop into our now, it seems like a weekend weekly ritual that we have started where we go ahead and analyze this gold chart. We are looking to analyze for the week of September 10th. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. You guys know the drill. That subscription will help me get this algorithm going. Also, those likes pushes us as well. We've recently hit a thousand views. Thank you all so very much for jumping in and uh, checking out what we are looking at in the chart. So let's go ahead and hop into our analysis. So we are currently here on the monthly chart as we see as just a, a quick eyes view. We are still currently bearish on this monthly chart. We have about 20 days until this candle closes. We currently close at 1919 on Friday. As you see here though, price is definitely sitting on a demand zone here. As you can see in the prior months, our wicks have pushed out of this demand zone here. There's a few of them. That's actually the last three months. Our price has pushed or fell into that demand zone and then pushed right out of it. So we want to keep an eye on that for price as we move into next week. Again, we have a couple more weeks before the month ends. But again, let's keep in mind we're sitting right on top of that demand zone. Now we see here again on our weekly chart, gold is also still bearish, although our candle didn't close below the prior week, which the prior week was a bullish candle. We popped out of this demand zone as we were talking about, as you see here, right? Our price fell here. We did a color change and then pushed out of this zone. And we've pulled back to the, just to the top of it right here. As you can see, there's kind of a support. It seems to be building here in this zone. So we wanna be mindful of that as we go into next week. Here on our daily chart, it looks as if we there was in some indecisiveness. Uh, we started to create sort of a doji here. So, you know, when we close with those candles, the body of the candle where it looks like that, that's indecisiveness. Um, that was just that fight between the buyers and the sellers. Uh, ultimately, the sellers won, as you can see, because um, we did end up reaching our high of the day on Friday was 1929, but we pushed all the way back down to close at 1919. The low of the day was 1917. Again, that is still a push above this demand zone, but I will not totally push off the table that we can see a little bit more downside, to be honest, and possibly back into this demand zone. But again, we would need to break 1916 here on the daily to see a little bit more of the downside. What would I what would I be looking for, honestly, is this sort of candle here, this red bearish candle here. It's like the break in that upswing. As you can see, price had pushed up here. We took a break, a pause, if you will, and then we pushed up some more. We pulled back. Price pulled up, we have some wick here, right? And then we could potentially see some more of this area before bouncing back up, right? Um, as we know though, price can do whatever price feels like doing, but I would be mindful of, again, this zone with this candle here. We're in it currently, but again, I would like to see a break here of this 1916 to see further downside or a break of this 1919 to see some more upside, more particularly 1922, if you will, that 1922 to 1923. If we were to break that, then I think we can see a little bit more upside. It would be here, so pretty much the top of the zone um, we want to break out of, or again here to see more downside, right? Also really quick, there's one last thing I wanted to point out on the weekly chart where there is a trend line that seems to be that price is also playing off of right now. Price seems to have caught itself here on this trend line right here, right? So that's why in my mind, again, if we are to break that 1916, I could see us pulling back to this zone, right? And then potentially bouncing some more. However, if we do hold that 1916, this demand zone a little bit, then we can actually just, you know, pop out of 
this zone already that we are in, right? And just continue to push up. I would just be mindful of that moving into next week, keeping all that in mind. And there, there is also a parallel channel here that price is currently in as we've been watching as well. I just didn't have it all in this chart because I know we have it in prior charts where we've hit the top of the zone, right? And that's where we're pushing back from, okay? So there's a lot of levels to pay attention to currently right now, moving into gold next week. Go in there, make your levels, find your major key levels. I like to use the four hour for that when I'm trading intraday. Again, because these are top down analysis. These analysis go from monthly to the daily. But during the week, I like to actually dig in a little bit deeper, of course, and going closer to the chart. And I'm able to really create a game plan where I add in additional supply and demand zones if needed uh, based on that four hour. And then also supporting resistance that I utilize on that one hour chart. OK, so, yeah, take your time. Just pay attention. Let price develop and show you what it's doing before you take your trade. So have a great week. Hope you all enjoy this. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share with everyone so that we can keep growing in trading and continue to study and analyze these charts. Love you all. Have a great one. See you this week. Let's hit this field and be awesome this week, y'all. Whatever happens, journey your trades and you're going to just continue to create data for yourself. All right. I love you all. Stay focused, stay determined, and keep trading. Peace.